In this short video I'm gonna make, you will see the key reason why the jury will set Kylie Rittenhouse free of those murder charges. As I have seen both videos, I was surprised to see that in the first video, majority of the media have avoided the first part. Let's see it. So you can see the attacker approaches Kylie and the Kylie moves away from the danger. But at the moment when he has no place to move anymore, when he's closely confronted with the attacker, only at that moment does Kylie shoot to defend himself. He doesn't shoot randomly on protesters because like he's opposed to them. No, no, no. He's shooting at a particular protester by whom he had feared for, for his life because he was threatened that a grave body harm would happen to him. This guy who attacked him is not uh, some hunky-dory hippie kind of guy. He is a sex offender, convicted one. And not against any kind of a victim, but against a child, or better said, minor. And in the second video of the, of the shooting, you can see clearly that it's not Kylie going after protesters. You can see these protesters go after Kylie, and one of them is armed with a handgun. And what happens only at the moment when Kylie is actually surrounded and when he is attacked, only then he, sh he, he shoots and he doesn't shoot indiscriminately, randomly at protesters or whatever. He shoots only at those guys who had attacked him in, in order to defend himself. So these videos, which were thought to be a proof of his guilt, are actually a clear proof of his innocence. The reason why I'm making this video is following. These violent protesters who are destroying and looting American cities which are run by Democrats, the media portrays them as peaceful protesters. But in peaceful protesters, it's not people being killed. You have seen this uh, officer, David Dorn, who was killed. Black police officer, retired. He, he was killed by that mob. And there are many other people who were killed by that mob, which was protesting with the Black Lives Matter sh 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 shouting. And what happened? As, uh, as media portrays these people as peaceful protesters, so logically, when Kylie shoots two of them dead and wounds, wounds third one, they try to present it as, as some white racist is shooting on, on, on peaceful protesters because he doesn't like them. But no, 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 video doesn't show that. Video shows, or better said, the videos and pictures that you have all seen are showing carnage and destruction, which is left behind those peaceful protesters. And in the end, you can see those peaceful protesters going after Kylie. And the Kylie there, defended property and he defended his life. One of the narratives of the fake news media that is being pushed upon is that Kylie was racist. Like some white dude which was going after black peaceful protesters. But that is not the case because majority of protesters on those Black Lives Matter marches are actually white. Also, all three victims shot by Kylie were as well white. So Kylie didn't shoot at them because of their race. Like they were black and that's why he shot them. No, he shot them because they attacked him. And the videos show that obviously. There is no, uh, n nobody with the same state of mind would say that it was Kylie after going after protesters. No, no, this peaceful protesters were going after him. And in the end, I want to tell you a clear point. All this looting, all this carnage, all this fire burning, all these lives would not be lost if the police have done their job. If democratic mayors and governors did some law and order, 
And if they couldn't, which I understand, I can always understand that they, 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 you know, sometimes you don't have resources, but then they should ask the federal government, hey, we need to send us po federal police, or if that's not enough, send, send us military, uh, enable us to, to, to establish law and order. And if you can't establish law and order, if it's people uh, uh, that must defend their own property, yeah, it's obvious what's going to happen. Well, and these things happen. Yes, people, these things happen. But it's not fault of the protesters. It's, it's, it's logical that violent mob will riot and loot, you know. It's, it's logical to expect it. As well, it's logical f to expect from the people to, to use firearms to defend from that mob. But what is not logical is the behavior of democratic governors and mayors which are enabling this horror going on through American streets. And although I am not supportive of Donald Trump, during this course of these protests, I became his supporter and uh, I, if, if, if I would have a right to vote in America, I would vote for him. But uh, not, not, not so much that I agree with him, with everything he says, like the Rand Paul. Rand Paul, Ron Paul, those are the people I support. It's, it's more that these people who are going after him, this uh, sleepy and incompetent Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, these people are dangerous. And uh, these people have dangerous agenda. What essentially they want to, to do is that they want these, these violent riots to spread. They are supporting those rioters. And uh, basically, more destruction it is done, more looting that, than that it's done, uh, happier they are. That, that, that is the basic point which I'm trying to make. So this is not uh, a point about being left or right. It's, it's, it's between the rule of the mob and rule of the law. And you, Americans uh, on their elections, I'm sure that they will choose uh, the rule of law because if they cho chose rule of the mob, or better said, rule of Biden uh, and ha Harris, or better said, puppeteers behind them, because they are merely a puppets. Uh, the, the, the America as it exists now will, uh, will, will cease to exist. And I'm coming from Croatia. It, it's a country which was once under communism. And we know firsthand what communism is. It's uh, <laughs> what they call this uh, social justice is actually euphemism for wealth redistribution. And in this wealth redistribution, it's ordinary people being targeted. Just as you can see now in America, these violent mobs who scream social justice, they don't go to the property of Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, or Bill Gates. <laughs> no, they are torching businesses of ordinary Americans. Small business owners are the ones who are suffering. They are attacking and killing ordinary people. They are not going after rich and powerful Hollywood pedo elite. No, no, no. It's not those people living in mansions. It's your own neighborhood, your, where you live. There, there, there are no mansions, you know, and security guards and so on. And all those who, who, who want to replace police with, uh, defund the police and replace police with, uh, like, social workers, ask, um, Ask Mark Zuckerberg if he has uh, these, um, how to say, social workers around his property. Ask Bill Gates if he has social workers around his property. And ask Jeff Bezos if he maybe also has some social workers. Or maybe people behind the Federal Reserve System, which is, by the way, privately owned bank, which is enslaving the America and the world. Ask them if they have social uh, workers around their properties and thus this Hollywood elite that have m billions and billions and millions which are do, do, do they have social workers or they have armed security so I think I made my my point clear think wisely and don't let don't let communism take over don't let violent mob take over think for your own and resist this agenda it's your duty to resist. God bless you.